नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम टू एनसीईआरटी स्पेशल लाइव फोन इन प्रोग्राम वेबिनार ऑन आईसीटी टूल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डुओलिंगो एंड द टॉपिक इज लर्निंग लैंग्वेजेस विद डुओलिंगो व्हाट इज डुओलिंगो हाउ डज इट ऑपरेट वेल वी हैव एन एक्सपर्ट विद अस हु इज गोइंग टू शो यू अ डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन एंड ही विल बी telling you what icons to use what is it that you are going to benefit from using in duolingo and how is it going to be helpful for you in your future and your career so there are there's a lot to talk about and i've got certain questions in my mind which i want to ask him so we'll take up the questions towards the end of the session that'll be uh, somewhere around 450 so we have 50 minutes of our session and uh, even you can ask your questions so please send your questions <coughs> on our email id which is training@ciet.nic.in and uh, you can also write down your questions in our youtube channel's live chat box which is ncert official so in the live chat box write down your question and submit it to us it's a very simple method and uh, also if you want to know about our programs schedules then please visit our website ciet and swamprabha and uh, there you'll get to know all the details of our program schedule for this week and even for the following week So let's meet our expert. We have with us Mr. Tanmay Kulshreesh. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for that lovely introduction. So um, I am yet to introduce you. Actually, he is a junior project fellow at CIET NCRT. And uh, without wasting any more time, let's just begin this discussion on uh, Duolingo. So, sir, uh, I really want to ask you: Can you just um, introduce us with uh, Duolingo to me and to our audience? Absolutely. Uh, just before getting on to the application and to the whole presentation that we are about to begin, let me set a background. Let me set the context within which we will be using this application. The application, so to say, is a technical feature and it can enhance your skill set. But let us first understand the title of the webinar today: Learning Languages with Duolingo. As to why is it a necessity to learn a new language? what sort of a language are we actually trying to learn or what are we trying to convey through a language language for us has from time immemorial been the message and the conveying idea of one person to the another it helps us in transport transporting not just ideas facts knowledge but also cultural baggages language for us has always become a sort of a cultural connotation let me give you an example for instance with the coming of the colonial uh, colonial power in india uh, near about after 1600 ad or 1600 ce indians were not very much aware of the language of the far west or any other language so to say however there were some nuances that foreign travelers or invaders had given to us however the coming of the language english itself took some time now how does this impact us as you must have read in your ncert books on history raja ram mohan roy debendranath tagore and several such social reformers were highly impacted by english language and not just here they inculcated these ideas values that came along with english language raja ram mohan roy in fact was a polyglot he was even well versed in english farsi arabic urdu so on and so forth with these languages he not only learned the ideas that it came along with but the literature it came along with and to a great extent these social religious reform movements were fueled by his ideas that he borrowed from around the world all because of the language that he knew the language that he could convey his messages into and the language that he could learn more ideas from that is the whole idea of language let me give you another example of where i come from for a major part of my education i have studied in saudi arabia riyadh the capital there we used to or even though i studied in an indian school for a major part i was also given the choice of studying a third language the third language offered to me out of all the languages including spanish french tamil telugu i chose urdu Urdu was a language that came to me very easily mostly because the speaking part of Urdu is very similar to Hindi however the script varies and that is how i got to know more of this we often do that 
we in India follow a three language system in most of the states barring some states like Arunachal Pradesh, Tamil Nadu or so on and so forth where only two language or in some cases only one language system is used. Language for us is three based level, three level based. There is one language that is our mother tongue, that is we learn from our household when we interact to our parents, our siblings or our relatives. There is another language that the school teaches us, the medium of, ins medium of instructions for instance. And there is another third language that the society teaches us. Even if the language is the same, the dialects may differ. But this is the three language system we unknowingly also follow. And through this, now we come on to why is it necessary to learn a new language at all? Let us now take an example of learning a language and how it improves our own vocabulary and our own memorization skills. Before going on to that, let me begin with a presentation that we are going to focus on today. And through this presentation, I will slowly divulge the various uses, nuances and connotations that come along with learning a new language. Let me move on to the presentation. Learning languages with Duolingo. As you can see, Duolingo here is marked in green color and is represented by a s owl. This owl, this green owl, is the mascot of the Duol Duolingo learning application. And this is what will help you in understanding the application and the web-based platform together. It will be a helping hand in learning a new language here. <coughs> Broadly, these will be the contents of the today's presentation. As I have already given you a background, I will also be introducing you to the learning language application. Going on to the features of this application, the significance of this application as to why should we at all use it, going on to the icons and the various user interfaces that come along with it, how to practice it, how to navigate it, and end the concluding remarks. Mostly, till up till third point, we will be using the PowerPoint, and then we will be moving on to demonstration. Okay. Well, to introduce Duolingo, Duolingo is a website and mobile app based platform. It is a dual feature. It is also a cross platform based software. You can use it on your mobile phone as well as your computer system. One more feature that this has is that when you're using it on one system, you can pause your progress on that system. And at the same time, when you're using another system, you can continue where you have left off left off from there. This is the cross-platform based software that this offers. <coughs> Learning synced is what we have focused on here. In this case, you do not lose out in case you have to take into account the various nuances of learning this language from one system and in case you pause it and then you have to move to another system. The learning where you have paused in one system will continue from the other. And this learning synced is the aim of this language learning application. Even more so, this also provides a certification for you. Once you complete this application, once you learn a language, and as you progress through each and every language, you end, end up having a certificate. And that certificate can be utilized by you into going for another professional skill developments or any other schools or colleges that you want to apply to. This is one feature that Duolingo offers that most other applications are not supporting as of now. Let me give you an introduction of how this application began. This uses a freemium model, which I'll be explaining in a while, founded by Louis von Ahn and Severin Hacker, that is his surname, in the year 2009. Interestingly, both von Ahn and Hacker were a pair of student and teacher, while von Ahn is actually the doctoral professor of Severin Hacker. They both initiated Duolingo with an aim to collect a database of various languages and texts that need to be translated. So they would throw out a statement into the public forum, crowdsource the various responses that they receive and create a database for themselves. This way, this was an earlier version of what today we more so know as Google Translate 
And that is how the humble beginnings of Duolingo began. Right now, Duolingo has translations and supports over 40 languages and is used by more than 300 million subscribers. It uses a freemium model, which is actually a portmanteau of two words. Freemium being the portmanteau of free and premium. What this means is this, the application is absolutely free to use. However, for any other additional purposes, you need to take a subscription or you have to pay a premium. What these additional services are, we will be looking into once we get into the logistics and the technicalities of using this application. <laughs> Let us go ahead on, the, on to the next slide. Understanding how it works. Every application has a basis of working. Every web-based platform has a code and an algorithm that it requires to work. And it uses the same here. Let us try and understand what this is. Duolingo only gives you words, phrases, and sentences, and using an algorithm based, it tests your skill level. For instance, if Duolingo throws a word at you, you would have to answer the word as to what this word actually means in your own language. And through this, the computer, the algorithm then tests as to what sort of a skill level you are at. In case you answer the question correctly, the computer would read that you are well aware of this level of skill set. In case you do not answer it correctly, the computer will remind you the same question later in a later stage and try to test you again until and unless you become from an amateur to a professional in this stage. And this is where Duolingo actually is a beautiful platform to interact with. Yes, exactly. This is not a one way. This is not a monologue. When you, use a, when you use Duolingo app, you're actually indulging into a dialogue, not with yourself, but with your system, with the computer, with the algorithm. Knowingly and unknowingly, the algorithm picks your pace, transfers it to itself, and helps you learn in a better manner. This helps us in understanding a language and translating it well. Although there are many features out there, although there are YouTube videos that can help you teach a language, even you can learn it from one-to-one -one interaction. However, things do not seem so easy. When a personalized, focused attention is provided to you, this becomes all the more of a cakewalk. Learners unlock each level to progress further. <coughs> even then, the curriculum is divided into skills, each comprising from two to 10 lessons. Short, bite-sized lessons help you maintain a concentration and help you in divulging and concentrating on each and every subject matter in a holistic manner. Coming on to the significance of Duolingo as to why should we use it? This is an interesting aspect. Duolingo offers on the first level gamification. By gamification, <coughs> we mean that each and every aspect of this app is gamified, is sort of built into a game where actually improves your learning standards. You must have been aware of various applications and mobile phone apps that you are glued onto that sort of gain an addiction. And this Duolingo application, not less than an addiction, is a very helpful tool to actually use it as a game. This gamification also provides an adrenaline rush, so to say, because when you are achieving at each and every level, once you are answering each and every correct question, you sort of get that positive feedback from the system itself that you are performing well. And that hits you, that kicks in. And this provides a high that is of an achievement. And each and every level, you are more so motivated to further progress into each and every level. <coughs> it uses a skill tree, just as a tree rises up from the ground and branches out into several stems, the same application also understands your skill level. It builds on an already specified skill set and branches it out into several other skills that you may or may not be comfortable into and transverses that skill set that you are the most comfortable in. This skill tree also uses in-lesson grading it provides you with in-lesson grading so that you are well aware of your stage and your learning fluency.
To continue, it also uses an ease of use user interface. The user interface that it uses is solely designed for you to understand one skill set and another and not to confuse you into many and uh, innumerable aspects that you may have a confusion with. And also this is a trackable progression. As I already have mentioned, it is a cross-platform software and tracks your progress. In case you are in one software on one uh, device and you want to transfer your learning to another device, it can track your progress throughout those devices and help you in understanding a better way of learning. The second aspect as to how significant it actually is, it strengthens all areas of communication and provides us with fluency. And when we say fluency, what do we really mean about it? Fluency for us can be limited, can be spoken into but not limited to listening, speaking, reading and writing. Duolingo, as we will see further, not only gives you the words, their meanings, but also tries to help you pronounce it. The pronunciation aspect is something that most of us have to Google at times. But why Google when you have Duolingo at your help? The third aspect is personalized education. Personalized education, or what we in the business terms also call sometimes as mass customization. <coughs> To give you some example, you must have seen that there are a lot of gift items available online or on Amazon where there are pens available for you to gift to your near and dear ones. All of these pens are mass customized, all of these pens are mass produced, sorry. However, they are customized by the way of engravings on it. So you may purchase such a pen and engrave it with the name of your near or dear ones and then gift to them. This provides a personalized feel and touch to that particular gift. And it is the same that mass customization is followed by Duolingo as well. Even though Duolingo has a perfect algorithm and a perfect set of structure through which it progresses and takes your learning forward, it matches it with your skill set. It matches it with your sense of learning, ideation and conceptualization. It helps you in understanding as to what pace is best suitable for your learning. And it all does by a simple algorithm that Duolingo has prepared and improved upon through the years with the capturing of data that it users gives. <coughs> Giving everyone a private tutor experience through technology is what Duolingo also aims at. Let us now move on to a demonstration. So sounds like this is a very interesting app and uh, I've got a few questions in my mind uh, while listening sure. to you. Sure. So um, is this app uh, age specific? Can a five year old learn from this app, of course from the help of, uh, of his or her parents or uh, a 60 year old maybe? Is of it any, any difference between that, these That two? is a very interesting question and as a matter of fact, yes. A five year old also can learn through this app of course with the help of their guardians or parents mm -hmm. and a 60 year old also can because the user interface of this application is so basic in fact the application itself asks you whether or not you want to start off with learning alphabets or sentences or phrases and that actually helps both a five year old or a 60 year old okay all right <coughs> and uh, one more question i wanted to ask so for, for most of the apps when we use we have to log in and mm. make our new accounts is mm. it the same in this one Actually, uh, this is what I will also be demonstrating. The application uses your login credentials. You may register on the application or you can use your existing Facebook or Google account to register onto it. However, the login part is essential for this application because that is how it progresses and tracks your progression. Okay. It helps you and it helps in the computer in analyzing that this is the particular user that I want to track. And without a registered user ID, it will not be able to do that. Okay. And uh, I, I hope it's available on every platform, be it Android or Windows or uh, even uh, iOS. Absolutely. That is actually some part that I missed. Uh, the application is available on all plat platforms, be it Apple, Android or any other platform, so to say. It also comes in as a web-based platform that you can use it on your desktop. Uh, all you have to do is go to your Google Play Store in case it's an Android device 
or an Apple store in case you are using an iOS system and exactly enter Duolingo, D-U-O-L-I-G-N-O, L-I-G-O, L-I-N-G-O, sorry. And through this, you can install the application onto your mobile phones. However, if you want to use a desktop version, I will be showing the same through this demonstration. So let's have a look at the demonstration. Yes. So, as we have opened a Google Chrome, once we open the Google Chrome, you can actually type onto the search bar Duolingo or you can type on the URL bar www.duolingo.com. Once the search bar registers your request, either a web page would show up or if you have sh typed it in the Google search bar, a search result like so would appear. The first result, as you can see, is that of Duolingo, and this is where we have to click on to. Please follow my cursor in case the visibility is low. However, as it shows, this is the front page that you arrive at. As you can see, the user interface is very simple, it's very simplified. It asks you just two questions, get started or already have an, do you already have an account? In either case, you have to choose as to what is your status with this. In case you are uncomfortable in understanding what is written onto the screen, on the top right corner, you can see sight language. And this sight language provides you a multitude of languages that you can choose from that you are comfortable with. Let us, for instance, change it for some time so that we can understand. Let us choose Hindi. I have here selected Hindi. The web page loads and another fetch page appears, which is very similar to what we have already seen, but now all of it is in Hindi. As you can see, the text now reads Bhasha Sikhne ka Mazadar, Muft or Asardar Tarika. And the questions it asks you, Shuru kare ya fir, meri pehle hi ek profile hai. This helps us to understand the website in any other language that we are comfortable with. Say, for instance, you are not in India or you are in Saudi Arabia. So we can use Al Arabiya or Arabic to understand this platform. However, for our understanding, we would keep it as English. <coughs> On the top, have you have understood the changing of languages, while at the bottom, you can see various languages that you can learn through. There is Spanish. Spanish actually is the most learned language here. Okay, so like he said, Spanish is the most learned language here. Uh, so apart from Spanish, we have got a few more languages and we'll talk about it. So let's ask him. Thank you. So as you can see, now we will get started. However, if you are new to this account, you can hit on get started. Or if you have already, if you already have an account, you can click on I already have an account. The next page prompt would ask you to either log in with your existing email or password or log in using Facebook or Google. Why Facebook or Google are used here is very important and very significant for our understanding of this way to learn, to have a holistic understanding of how we can actually learn even through our peers, our friends. I already have a Google account, so I would click on Google. The prompt would ask me to get Google signed up and I will use my own account to sign in. As you can see, this is a new account. So it asks for a verification. In case you have already been registered, it would not ask you for this verification. However, for our understanding, as a new system, as a new system is entered into it, you will have to use a verification for this. Let me quickly sign up and register myself. So apart from this, uh, I would also like to ask you if someone is making a new account, uh, for example, me, I am not on Duolingo and uh, instead of go, you know, uh, making the account uh, 
joining through Google or Facebook if I want to log in from a new account. Um, so what uh, all details I have to fill in? Uh, would you like to show that as well? Maybe sure. later? Sure, I will be coming on to that okay. in a while. However, uh, let us see if we have signed in and et voila, we have signed in. It has recognized that I do exist on this platform and is not asking me for any further verifications. So this is the platform that we first get introduced onto. As you can see, this is again a very basic understanding and very basic and simplified version of what we have to learn through. <coughs> it does not have many nuances or many critical features that we need to understand or in order to gain knowledge and access to use it. As you can see, the first level is the letters level. Before moving on to that, let us understand what the icons here mean. We are currently on the learn icon. As soon as you hit on the learn icon, there are a number of levels that you have to clear. As you can see, these are the levels, letters one, letters two, letters three, so on and so forth. It goes on to understanding you plurals, the introduction, family, animals, activities and adjectives, numbers, words related to home, imperatives, health, it goes on and on at first level. Once you clear this level, you will obviously unlock the second level. Let me remind you and give you a callback of the gamification platform that this uses. Each and every learning that you do is divided into a level. As you progress through these levels, you gain newer and more improved knowledge. And because of this, we try to understand how each level helps us in progressing through it, helps us in gaining more valuable brownie points for us to be engaged into the game. <coughs> the second icon that you see on the top is discuss. Let us click on discuss and see where it leads us to. Discuss leads us to a forum, a forum where we can pose our queries, our questions, and interact with like-minded people who are also learning the same language as we are. You can see people are here competing with you. You can see that people have completed 200 days streak or 100 days streak. This sort of motivates you through comparison to understand as to how can we actually use it and actually gain out of it through the idea of competition. <coughs> you can see on the right that we have a number of subscriptions. One is Duolingo in English, in Hindi, and so on and so forth. The troubleshooting aspect is more of a technical aspect that we need not indulge into. You have an option here to post a new post here by adding, clicking onto this icon and interacting with the forum. The next icon here is that of shop. As I already mentioned, this platform uses a freemium model. Although the application or the platform is free to use, it also can ask you for a premium or a small payment for unlocking several features that otherwise are not freely available here. <coughs> On the next icon we can see, it includes events, schools and words. The schools aspect is something that I will discuss with you at a later stage and it is very important keeping in mind the webinar series that we are indulging into, which is ICT tools for education and technology integration. On the next call icon, you can see a flag. This flag denotes the language you are learning onto. Right now, we are learning Hindi. However, if we need to add a new course, we simply click on add a new course and it throws open a plethora of languages arranged through the number of users that use this language, particular language. The highest, as you can see, 26.3 million learners are using Spanish. Next, French, Japanese, so on and so forth. It shows us the number of languages that it can teach and support, ranging from Vietnamese, Hebrew, Indonesian, Welsh, even High Valyrian for all those Game of Thrones fans. You can learn through this as well. And there are some languages like Yiddish, Hungarian, Esperanto and Navajo in beta version. Beta version is on a testing stage or is on a testing stage. We can access the course. However, some of the features may not be supported in a well-to-do manner. 
so uh, this beta <coughs> version is yes. it a part of the premium version or will it be a part of the basic version well the beta version here signifies that it is basic ver it is part of your basic version however the data with the people who are actually building the algorithm around these languages mm -hmm. is under development stage okay. and therefore not all resources for instance basic words would be able to be translated however genders uh, cars hotels health all these aspects may not come yeah. however you will have to try it for yourself beta version here for our understanding signifies at a testing at a training stage okay and uh, is there a particular number uh, that how many languages are there or uh, the languages kept on adding keep on adding uh, as of now duolingo supports about 40 languages the number is yet to increase as i have already so told that beta version is under process hmm. so obviously duolingo at its very end is trying to add more languages however subject to various data that it can collect all right moving on as i have already shown these are the languages that you can choose on to <coughs> while i have already chosen hindi let me also add another language in my goodie bag okay why not add spanish spanish is spoken by a number of people around about 26.3 million learners are using spanish through duolingo let me click on spanish as you click on it it shows you the course the structure of the course who are going to contribute to the course and so on and so forth you can then click on start course and your course would then be added as you can see the flag here has changed from that to Spanish or Spain and now you can choose your path it can be either introduction or a placement test <coughs> what it means here is that introduction only starts a language for you which is for your basic understanding however for a placement test it sort of gives you a more nuanced training which is helpful for you to apply into colleges universities or professional jobs where the language Spanish has to be spoken let us continue on to the icons that we were explaining the icon to the right of the flag shows crowns crowns is nothing but this skill set that you have earned they are more like medallions that you can collect on the way this sort of helps you in understanding and gaining a perspective as to what more can you contribute or what more can you learn when you achieve these small gratifications, these positive feedbacks that Duolingo offers. The same is with a streak. Streak here we understand is the how, how much time you have devoted on a daily basis on one particular language. Right now it shows the current day that there is a streak to be built. The Wednesday which it shows it's for another language that we have already that I have already been starting to learn however today I have not started any language course today so it shows blank this streak is completed on a day-to-day -day basis and if you maintain it you get another brownie points or crowns so to say lingots is another sort of medallions or positive feedbacks that you gain you can actually use lingots as a currency to shop for more features that you can unlock in Duolingo. It's a proper game as if you come to think about it, that there are certain levels that you have to cross into and certain levels would lead you to more and more points and derivatives that you can use further. <coughs> and as you can see the icon on my account as the cursor is progressing onto it. Currently I am on my account and the rest of the settings, your profile, free, free plus, help and log out these are all technical features that you can log into let me first show you your profile your profile here is nothing but what you are learning how much you have learned and how many languages you are enrolled into right now it shows me two languages it shows my current status as to whether or not I am being followed or I am following someone it shows my total streaks the medallions, the wild, the medallions and the lingots that I have earned, the level that I am at, all these things can help me improve in my learning process. It also gives me options and asks me whether I can find friends or invite friends or connect to Facebook with like-minded people who are also learning the same language as I am. 
within the same you can log into settings this settings helps us in understanding the username that shows up the sound effects or animations that comes on to and the listening exercises for us to understand and help us in pronunciation of a particular word all these aspects are very important let us try and demonstrate as to how this duolingo actually progresses let me give you a knowledge of hindi because we have to go from the known to the unknown first we should know as to what we are actually getting on to hindi for most of our viewers would be comfortable and translating from english to hindi would be an easier aspect later on we would, we can also learn other languages through this let me go to the first level and click on letters <coughs> as we click on letters it asks me two questions tips or start and it also shows me the level or the lesson that i am at okay so if i can read you are at uh, lesson number 1 and uh, the level is 0 absolutely okay lesson 1 of 3 first let us see what tips mean let me click on tips tips shows us a language background the language that we are learning hindi in this case is giving is being provided to us with a background of how hindi actually is what script it is used to write in and how we can actually improve our understanding this application is just not about learning just another set of words phrases numbers it also gives you a holistic understanding of what that language actually implies what are its origins and how can we use it in our day to day lives as you can see all of this content is very much important for our understanding and will also come to our to us when we start learning let us return back and click on start <coughs> as you can see the game has begun very interestingly the game is an alphabet is showing however if you do not know what this alphabet is many of us may not we can click on the loudspeaker button probably you can hear this sound i apologize for that disturbance the alphabet here is so the alphabet here is <coughs> so the alphabet here is k it's a part of the hindi varnamala if i am not wrong and uh, k and um, about the pronunciation i wanted to ask uh, sir yes. that uh, you know um, we learn pronunciations but there are various accents in which we learn so how uh, which particular accent will this be indian uh, english or uh, any any other okay uh that is an interesting question actually the english that we often have come to learn in our schools as well is that based on uk english mm. however the accent that we use here is the very much localized and indigenous form of accent we do not twist our tongues so to say for instance if we are in australia and we are using english we often say can we have a cup of tea but in india we use it properly by saying that can we have a cup of tea this sort of accents are more of a nuanced and more of a localized version of language learning that we delve into however through duolingo we may not be able to assess that accents and okay. we are more so interested in learning the language words and phrases all right let us return back to our demonstration of language learning as you can see one alphabet shows up and you have to click on the loudspeaker button to actually listen on to it once the sound appears you understand that it is kh 
Out of all the three options, the first sounding gh, the third sounding k, the second option most resembles the question. We click on to it and we click on check. As soon as we click on check, it prompts us that the question you have answered is correct. On the top, you can see that there is a green bar which has slightly progressed further. This will keep on progressing as you answer more and more questions. Let us continue. <coughs> the second option is that of G. Go ahead, give it a try and see for yourself what could be the probable answer. Uh, I'll give it a try. Uh, so the first option is G. The third option is G. And uh, if I'm not wrong, then the second option is G because I know the language. <laughs> so. Thank you so much. You're absolutely right and you will be giving a right answer. Let us check. Great job. This sort of positive feedback also helps us in learning. When the computer asks us a question and we answer it correctly, it gives us a positive feedback and says that you have done a good job. This sort of motivation is all that we need to stay focused on our language. As you can see on the top, the green bar has further progressed and saying that you have answered two correct in a row. Okay. Let us continue further. So, uh, before going further, sure. how many um, questions will be there in one level? So, the level varies according to the answers that you give. In case you are right with all your answers, mm -hmm. the green bar at the top would progress further. Mm -hmm. However, in case you miss answer a question or you answer it incorrectly, the bar would go a step back. And now you will have to answer more questions because the computer will give you a call back and remind you that, hey, listen, you did not answer this question correctly. Let me help you in making you remember that this is the right answer. And that's how the computer uses its own algorithm in making you understand better. Okay. And what if I answer all the questions and just uh, finish the level? So how many levels will be there in, uh, in one language? The level may vary according to the language that you're uh, enrolled into. And the levels vary from each. Uh, each level has about 10 to 15 stages, each varying from alphabets to objects to numerals. All these aspects will be covered on a level to level basis. All right. Okay. Let us go further. <coughs> Let us now listen to what this sound is. The sound is that of H. Let us click on H and see whether the answer is correct. The answer is absolutely correct and we hit on continue. The next option is K. You may also click on the loudspeaker button to listen to it. Just for a change, let us answer this question incorrectly and see what happens. Let us click on check. Sorry, I actually answered that correctly. The perfectionist in me just took over. Let's try again this time with G. This time the answer option is 1, but we will click anything but 1. We'll click on 2. And now check the answer. The answer here is shown as G. It says that your solution is wrong. And as you can see, the bar house has now went a step back. Let us continue. I want to request our viewers to remember this question because it will be used by the algorithm in the future to bring it back as a callback. Select the correct characters for G. Out of all these options, I believe option 4 is the right answer. Let us check. Correct. Now let us listen to what this sound is. Let us click on the loudspeaker. Let us listen to that again. The sound is that of G. Let us check. It is correct. Select the correct character for K. Of these four options, option 2 seems more resembling. It is also correct. Again, the question asks us what should be the answer for this? Let us click on option 2 and see what the answer is. It was wrong because if you were to have heard it correctly, it was K. Let us continue. 
So instead of uh, you know uh, taking each and every question, I think we have got uh, the yes. concept of yes. the level here. Actually, so this is the way each and every level progresses, okay. and each and every aspect of a language is covered. You can actually discontinue where you are learning by clicking onto the cross sign here. It will ask you whether or not you want to quit, and you have to press OK as the session will be lost. Okay. This is one way of learning one language. All right. So we have got last uh, ten minutes left. Is there anything else you want uh, our viewers to know about Duolingo? Absolutely. Uh, one more thing. This was the basics of language learning, mm -hmm. understanding languages. You can understand multiple languages through this application. One more aspect that I want to highlight here is that of Duolingo schools. Actually, there are two more aspects, but let us cover them one by one. The Duolingo for schools is a way for a teacher to include the same aspect into their learning process with their students. If we click on Get Started, we can actually understand the way this Duolingo for schools can be incorporated into our learning praxis. praxis. It asks you your name, so you can enter your title and your name. In this case, I will enter my name and click on Next. It will ask me which language that I am willing to learn or the name of the classroom, what language this classroom is going to teach. I'll choose Hindi and what language instruction you want. This is a simple setup that we have to create. And now we are on to Duolingo for classroom. Here you can create a new class, you can have assignments for your students, you can create, create a curriculum and you can add students here. This way, Duolingo is effective for a classroom setup. The second aspect that I want to tell you all is Duolingo as a proficiency test. If you click on to the Google search bar and type Duolingo proficiency test or language test, you will be guided onto this website. Duolingo English test is for all those aspirants who wish to study abroad or wish to pursue a job outside of India. This Duolingo English test is similar to IELTS or a TOEFL exam that you give. However, the ease and convenience that this test comes along with is that if you, you can attempt this exam from the comfort of your home with just your system, your microphone and your webcam. A one hour test can help you in understanding and passing a grade certificate with this. This was all about Duolingo and its usage. Towards a great extent, we have understood as to how this Duolingo can be used. With some concluding remarks, I would be winding up in the session. Okay. And then we'll take up a few questions. Sure. As I have already told, Duolingo in classroom and how it can be used. Teachers have access to this feature to track students. If you have friends using Duolingo, you could have a lot of fun with the leaderboard functions and other little competitions that you can actually indulge into. You could use Duolingo in different ways in a classroom setup as well. Through warm-up exercises at the start of your lesson, through activity for early finishers, through summer revision so that students can keep up with their skills and actually acquire new skills. And the next or the most uh, important can be homework replacement. You can actually use this gamified version of an app which also keeps you hooked on and also helps you in practicing a new language. Let me conclude by a few remarks. Duolingo could be a motivating way to have students practice a language. It's not perfect, nothing is actually, but it is a lot better than many other things. You could do when you have a few minutes to, your, to use your mobile device. In case you're traveling in metro, in case you're waiting for someone, you can use this mobile application to socialize in a way that you can learn as well. And Duolingo is that platform that you can use. One tip that I will give you while using this application is try not to rush through the course. Duolingo gives you the freedom to find your own sweet spot and tries to analyze your learning pace and incorporate it into its own. This platform helps overcome, as to what I understand, the challenge of the three C's, the commitment, the consistency, and the concentration that is required into learning a new skill set. 
With these words, I conclude my presentation. Thank you so much uh, <coughs> for the wonderful presentation that we had and uh, even demonstrating uh, the app for our viewers and even for me. So uh, we have received great response uh, on this session and we've received also a few questions from our audience's side. Please. So let me take a question by Naman and uh, he's asking that can we use different, learn different languages uh, at the same time on this platform? Actually that is a good question. As I already demonstrated onto the web, pl web platform, I was simultaneously enrolled into two classes. One was that of Hindi and the other was that of Spanish. Simultaneously, you can learn multiple languages one, at one time. Mm -hmm. It depends on your proficiency and your comfortness, how comfortable you are with learning two languages simultaneously. Because more the languages, the more confusion it can create. And here we are learning a new skill set. So it all depends on your proficiency and comfortness. Absolutely. Okay, and we have Gauri. Uh, she's saying that uh, she has learned uh, Japanese on Duolingo and it's very helpful. But uh, she also has a question that, uh, okay, uh, she's saying I use uh, Duolingo for learning Japanese and uh, there was a question, I'm sorry, I'm unable to find, it's but okay, okay. Uh, there was another question which is asking that do we need uh, hard copies as in books along with this app or uh, only Duolingo is sufficient? Uh, interestingly, the application itself is uh, very well easy to use and you can actually go back and revise what you have learned already. If you are more so habituated to a pen and paper sort of a learning style, Whatever you are learning, for instance, if you are learning the alphabet kh, the sound that it makes and the usage it can be used into, you can actually write it down onto your paper or pen and actually use it as a revision material or a revision source later on. However, Duolingo provides you with that leeway, with that possibility of actually returning back to the same learning style and returning back to the same learnings that you have acquired through the course of your learning. Okay, and uh, like you said that we can always revise. So uh, like you uh, told us already that we have different levels and once we have uh, supposedly crossed one level, two level and even three levels, so now we are on fourth level. Mm -hmm. So can we go back to uh, level one and uh, do the revision again if we want? Uh, I would like to say that the revision, the way this game progresses is that you are at one level and then you clear that level and move on to. For the algorithm, for the app, it is understood that you have been well aware of this particular aspect. Mm. In case you fumble into a word or into an alphabet at a later stage, the algorithm will help you in creating a revision-based platform, curriculum and structure so that you are well remembered of the same structure. Okay. However, manually, you may not be able to go back to where you came from. Okay. Um, because you've said that this is freemium. Uh, it's free plus it's premium as well. So would you suggest our viewers, our students to go for the premium version or basic is uh, you know, sufficient? Uh, that is all onto the choice of the students that are willing to learn and acquire the skills. Mm -hmm. uh, the main idea of using the ICT tools and the main idea behind using this webinar session as a platform to help you understand the various ICT tools is that uh, most of the platforms out there are for free to use and are very well connected with the people out there. It has to be accessible. Even when it is accessible, it has to be affordable. Duolingo is both of them. It is accessible as to you can use it for free. It is also affordable. However, the premium version gets in a little more of perks that you can. For instance, as of now, I have made you understand that Duolingo can be used online. However, you can use it offline as well. Duolingo would download various versions, various courses and syllabus and levels that you want to study in a particular language and download it for you and keep it safe. So that if you are at a place where internet is not easily accessible, you can use that offline version and access the same course. Very much so that how you download a video from a YouTube and use it and view it offline. However, this feature in Duolingo is a more of a premium version and you have to pay up a price or cost to have it on your system. Either ways, it is a choice of the learner, however they want to pursue it. Okay. Um, 
we don't have much time left so let me just ask you one last question sure. and we'll wrap up this session sure. so is there any unique feature of duolingo which sets this app apart from other ones absolutely there are a lot of learning apps and as i already began this presentation in the beginning i said that there are a lot of ways you can learn a language there are youtube videos out there there are interactions one to one interactions that you can indulge into uh, there are also websites books and reading material out there that you can learn a language there are small groups created that can help you in learning the language what duolingo offers and what sets it apart and the reason why i was more interested in using this application and actually coming here and presenting it to you and sharing the knowledge that i have gained throughout Duolingo offers a gamified version of your learning style. It indulges you into an adventure. It helps you understand the language, the content and the structure the way as if you are playing a game and makes you understand and help it in a better manner. As I repeat once again the three Cs consistency, commitment and the another one would be constancy. these things are mostly required to understand what sort of a language you are getting into and acquiring a new skill set thank you so much for being here for letting us know about duolingo and uh, how it can be helpful for me for our students and even for the teachers the student the teacher board you showed even that was very interesting thank yes. you so much for joining us today thank you very much for having me Thank you to all our viewers for this session and uh, we've got like I said before great response on this session we have even received compliments for the entire session and even for our expert so thank you for watching this session for participating in it and uh, I hope that uh, uh, the expert he tried and uh, satisfied all your queries and uh, if there are any more questions left you can always send it on our email id which is training@ciet.nic.in My name is Tanvi Kurana and uh, this is the end of the day we are wrapping up our sessions and uh, tomorrow we'll come back again with more sessions on more topics and more subjects stay tuned don't go anywhere keep on watching PME with their channels and also our YouTube channel which is NCERT <coughs> official thank you once again take care namaste